Good morning, it is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up in about four minutes. Very quickly, when I say live, what I mean is that I am recording myself, seeing the information, seeing the data for the first time in real time, meaning I don't know what's coming next. So this is not a trade recap where everything's already been recorded and now I'm coming back and explaining what's already happened. So like I said, this is not a trade recap, it's not a post commentary. I'm recording myself seeing the information for the very first time, so I don't know what's coming next. So if you just want a nitty gritty, raw look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, then this will be a video for you. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna watch yet. It seems like there's a couple of uh, solid po uh, possibilities out there, um, but um, I will keep you updated and I'll pause for now and be back at the open. Okay, markets have opened and I'm watching Tesla out of the opening gates. This is the one minute candle, meaning it will, be jumping all around for the first one minute and then it'll start another candle and then that candle will move around for one minute and so on and so forth. So just seeing how this wants to, uh, I mean a huge range, we're talking basically about a $10 range to start off the day. Like I said, just wanna give this thing a little bit more time to see what it wants to do. As of right now, not really giving me any sort of setup that I would feel comfortable playing. What's going on with AMC? Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pause for now, and if I see something that looks uh, worthwhile, I will get the video rolling at that point. Quick update on Tesla, it just continues to leave me in its dust. It's just going straight down. So, nothing I can do with it right now. I mean, that could be a potential 993. I mean, that could have been, but I just still feel like that's too much chasing right now. Waiting for this thing to give some sort of Maybe some potential here. I move down below 17 and then back up through 17. Good news is market's been open about three minutes. So there's still plenty of time. Tesla. Okay, so 9.93. So maybe a trade here if it wants to come back up to this 9.93 area, then come back down. That'd be a pretty interesting scenario. Like I said, I would love to see it get green, then come back down here. There we go. Huh. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. So this thing comes back down to 988. Let me get this alerted here. Tesla 988. Flush point, one minute. Maybe even tighter than that now. So watch a 988. See what it wants to do. I 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it because who knows, maybe this thing's, again, these are live, so I, Tesla maybe is about to go sideways for the next 10 minutes, and I don't wanna have 10 minutes of us just watching something go sideways, so I'm gonna pause for now. All right, well, Tesla is now up through kind of my area that I was thinking for a stop, so that's changing around the, that trade that I was thinking. So as of now, looking like never mind, because Tesla, and that's why I'm glad I waited for confirmation because uh, it is bouncing right now, uh, but as far as that specific trade plan is concerned, Yeah, I don't I like 992. Oh, and all that trade plans out of the okay, well, all my trade plans are Tesla saying no, nope, that's not gonna work either, which is fine. Again, it's not costing me money. It's just, you know, 992, 99, yeah, thousands. Well, maybe we can try something here. 995. Yeah. So 995. Very curious about. So watch a 995. In at 995. So if we can get the breakdown. It's showing that it dropped down to 992, but I don't think that's true. Must have been a fat finger trade. Let's see if this thing wants to come down here. Yeah, I don't remember seeing that thing go down and below 992. Would like 993 minimum for my first profit target area. There we go. Great, got even better than that. Let's see if we can get 990. So looking forward to get back down below 990 here. There we go. Now I'm just seeing if this thing wants to pick up some more downside pressure. Come on, 8989. It's bouncing back. Ah, that makes sense where it bounced actually. Oh yeah, 988. That's what I was looking for way back when. Oh wow, now I'm actually underwater on these some of the okay, I gotta just get out here. What a bounce. Well that was a bummer. Here I was thinking, all right, I'm gonna be making close to five hundred dollars on that. What a bounce. And yeah, it bounced right off nine eight eight. Well, I guess I well not quite, but that journal area. So maybe another try down there at 998, but well, in hindsight, I should have been a lot more aggressive with my profit taking, but here I thought the thing was really gonna get moving in my favor. Well, that's how trading goes sometimes. You, you hang on to a portion of your position to work for you, and it totally ends up costing you money. Cause yeah, I did lose money on those shares. Lost about, yeah, 80 bucks on them. But 988, still a very interesting area here. So we'll see if another setup comes about based around that area. But um, yeah, opening trade, disappointing. Because it was sure looking like it was gonna go better than what ultimately happened there with that, look at that thing, 
Bummer. All right, well, it happens. Let's see what else I can find. Watching FHTX here for a $19 potential break. And just move over Tesla. Tesla, you can see right there. Look at that thing, still bouncing. Have you ever been there before? Where you're thinking, wow, this trade, I'm making, I'm gonna make so much money this trade. I nail, what in the world just happened? And then all of a sudden, sure you didn't make, you know, I'm not saying you maybe lose money on it, but you didn't make nearly, things just didn't go how you had planned. So you're not alone if you've been there before. Sometimes all you can do is just laugh about it and say, yeah, that's that's how the market goes sometimes. Uh, 988, interesting level. Sure, I like it as much. Nine ninety nine. In there at nine ninety nine thirty three. Let's see if this bounce is finally gonna, not necessarily crash back to the downside, but at least take some sort of break. There we go. Just throwing out some orders. If I get filled, these will go from white to green. So just got filled it, there we go. I have no problem admitting at all. I'm a little uh, gun shy right now. From the last time where things were looking good like this and then just like that, they completely did the exact opposite. All right, call that good. So 243, another winning trade. But again, look at that. It just doesn't wanna quite play ball with me. So I suppose I learned my lesson from the previous time. I got a little bit more aggressive um, as it now bounces back up, or it still may come back down, but um, I guess the question really becomes now, is that is, is this now starting to trend upwards or is this just a still just a dead cat bounce that eventually is gonna break down below that line and then really start to head back downwards. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that tread line right there. And good to know that FHTX still setting up. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get that posted over in the chat room. Take a picture of that tread line so people can see exactly what I'm looking at. So I'll show you if you're wondering how does the chat room work. So there we go. FHTX, one minute tread line to watch for potential breakout. So there we go. That's if you're wondering, hey Clay, how does your community work? There you go, right there. So keep an eye on that. Also want to keep an eye on Tesla. So like I said, that tread line, I'm finding very fascinating here. So maybe 993 could be an area. Let me get 
that over there too, because that's actually Tesla one minute tread line for flush. There we go. So I'm watching 993. Because so I want to be I want to be sure that this thing doesn't bounce off that tread line. So 993 is what I'm watching. That's why, see that bounce right there? Wanna be sure. So in my mind, 993 is definitely good, interesting level. Let's see if it wants to come back down and maybe give it a test. I'm liking this formation here. In fact, I'm going to go to 75 shares. So watching 993. Look at oh, what a, this is a good formation here. Watch a 993. But wow, this area is being very stubborn. I'm so, I'm yeah. I apologize if if there's never an even an entry point. And then you're like, well, geez, Clay, that was a waste up. But, I, but there could be. That's that's the trade off of being live. I, I just don't know what's coming next. So I'd hate to pause it and then miss an entry point on video. Okay, 993. Oh, and I missed it. Give me a back test. There we go. Okay, in on the back test, 993. See if this thing can get down to 990 and through. Took off some shares. Don't like how it's hesitating. Now I still have 50 shares, but again, I don't like how it's hesitating. Finally got the break. Maybe, maybe I'm being stupid. Clay, hasn't Tesla taught you enough lessons today that it breaks down and snaps back? I just want 989 for my next profit target. Okay, got that. Again, I have orders out there and if these change from white to green, that means I've gotten filled. Oh, come on, you didn't hit me. Dirty dog. Come 
Come on. You know you want to break down some more. Does anybody else sweet talk their stocks? Tesla doesn't seem to be a fan of getting sweet talk to. Come on, Elon, dump some more of your shares. Help me out here. I'm looking for 987 now for my next, there we go. Oh, I wasn't able, there we go. I'm gonna call it good, there we go. Finally got one on Tesla that kept going. And was I suffering from the recency effect? Probably. Prob recency effect meaning that move and that move kind of scarred me. Um, but uh, to give myself some credit here, the one thing I did do was I was thinking originally 50 shares, but I raised it up to 75 because I like that formation that much more. Uh, and then it worked out beautifully. And also, again, you saw all that play out, right? You saw me post that tread line. You saw exactly what happened with that tread line. Broke the tread line right there, and it's still so. I mean, classic example. If you're wondering, hey, how does the chat room work? There you go. I mean, members had now, did, did members just blindly take it? No, people make their own decisions. Do they agree with the tread line? Maybe some members, like, yeah, I don't, I would have drawn the tread line a little differently, and that's fine, right? We're, that, we're a group of independent thinkers, so it's not like I'm offended if somebody disagreed with my tread line, but the goal is, hey, Here's my tread line, do with it what you please. If you do agree with it, then hey, maybe I just helped you out, maybe you didn't see that. Because again, we as humans only have two eyeballs, obviously, so sometimes we can miss seeing setups. Um, so if I led somebody to, to see something that they just didn't see because they were looking at other things, perfect. That's that's the, the the goal of the chat room, and I benefit from it too. Sometimes people will throw things up, and I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, thanks, I, I agree with that. Other times, nah, I don't really agree with that. That may fit your style, but as far as my style, I, that's not gonna really fit me. But for the people that did agree with the tread line, or I don't know, maybe somebody drew a different tread line that got even a better entry point than what that was. But um, right there, that is how the chat room works. It is 9.55, let's see, up $521 with commissions, I don't know, let's call it $515. Uh, it's 9.55, so 25 minutes, $515. Working from home, online, I like that quite a bit. And, ah, but I do wanna bake in the recency effect. Again, recency effect, you know, why was I taking profit? Because I had this, I, I was I was burned by that. Then, you know, that move where it started to bounce back upwards, I was starting to feel burned by that. Uh, and then that caused me to just, you know, project, you know, this situation here, this situation here. And it was still a winning trade, it was still a great trade, uh, but it could have been better had I just not been as fearful. Although it's not like I, I completely just grabbed my profits and ran right away. I still did let the thing work for me. I mean, I got in at 9.93 you know, had the thing move, you know, $6. No, I got even better than a $6 per share move because right there was, uh, yeah, uh, $6.50. So it's not like I didn't let the thing move for me, but uh, also though, I, I did I think the thing would drop 13, no, more than $13? No, I, I didn't think that. Uh, uh, so uh, like I said, could, did I trade that one perfectly? No, is it, uh, you know, is it easy to not trade things perfectly if you're gonna use hindsight as your judge? Yeah, you're never gonna, be a perfect trader for using hindsight. But could I have traded it better? Yes, I could have traded it better. And the reason why is because I let the recency effect uh, affect me, no pun intended, uh, by projecting, you know, what happened to me previously, which you which you witnessed, right? That's that I think that's why these live trade videos are important because you just see how things play out in real time. Like it, it wasn't necessarily pretty for those first two, because uh, Tesla decided to snap back against me. And I was like, ah, what happens if it happens again? What happened? And then, you know, it ultimately cost me. I probably, I'd say probably like another 80, maybe 100 bucks. So yeah, if I'm being brutally honest, I should probably be up about $620 right now. But again, that is all hindsight. Uh, but it's also why you don't want to let the recency effect affect you because you know that, that's what it can cause. But overall, glad that Tesla finally uh, moved in my favor and actually kept moving in my favor instead of snapping back against me. Or in this situation, I suppose, never really did snap back against me. In hindsight, had I held, but that's the thing is, you know, you can always get back in, and that's what I did right there. Waited for the 9.93, and uh, turned out to be a, a nice trade. But what a beautiful setup that was! Wow. So for members of my classes, I mean, hopefully you see 
the, just the all the dynamics going on, which I, as a spoiler, it's more than just the tread line, okay? I don't want you to think like, oh, so all you do is draw tread lines and then short them when they, they break down through. No, it, it takes a little bit more than than that, but you know, at the same time, you, you don't need to uh, overcomplicate things. But overall, I'm very happy with it. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure of many places in the world where you can make $515 in 25 minutes online. Uh, and as I always say, I just bring that up to build perspective, right? Uh, from somebody that's, uh, I mean, if you were to go to, to somebody that makes minimum wage and say, hey, I'm kind of disappointed. I only made 500 bucks in 25 minutes. They'd say, what did you just say? You're the most out of touch with your reality person ever if you're complaining about, let's, let's call it 100 bucks. Let's say I only made 100 bucks. And you say that to somebody that's making minimum wage, 15 bucks an hour. You would be out of touch with reality. That person would think you were the greediest person ever if you were complaining, yeah, I only made 100 bucks in 25 minutes. Wait, what? So like I said, keep things in perspective. It's very easy to look at social media and be like, wow, that person made so much money. Jeez, I'm not doing very well. Really? Are you sure? Do you really want to use that as your baseline or use what, I'll, you know, the majority of people around you are making? You know, to me, I'm trying to keep myself grounded in reality. Uh, so there's just kind of a tip and trick that I, I say all that stuff uh, just to remind myself that, hey, that, that's actually pretty good if I can make 515 bucks in 25 minutes. But, um, and then I'm, I'm done. And for those of you that are maybe, uh, why are you done? It's my, Cause I like to do what's called the be done in 30 approach. Meaning I like to be done with my trading on average 30 minutes because at this point in my life, and at this point I'm a father of five young kids, my most valuable commodity, my most valuable thing is time itself. Now, if you're at a different stage and you're like, no, Clay, I want the Lamborghini, I want the private jet, I want that nice boat. Cool, go get that stuff. But for me, I want the freedom of time. And again, if I can on average, quote unquote, work doing this stuff for 30 minutes per day, and I can I walk away with 515 bucks or whatever, I'm more than happy with that. Uh, it allows me to free up my time to spend with them, to work on my real estate investing, to work on my teaching business. Um, so like I said, that, that's why I'm gonna be done here. Uh, because like I said, I'm not, at, I'm not after this to maximize every single penny. I just want some, some extra you know, stream of income that allows me to free up my time. And then finally, if you do wanna get those alerts that you saw play out live uh, with the chat room, then all you gotta do is go right there, claytrader.com forward slash team, $99, not per month, let me repeat that, not per month, but per three months. So if you do that math, it breaks down to $8.25 per week. And as I always say, I'm more than confident that you're gonna be able to get at least $8.25 per week of value from the service. So if you're interested, like I said, you can click or go to claytrader.com forward slash team and sign up there. And then as far as these live trade videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, please hit that like button um, and leave a quick comment below uh, because these live trade videos are difficult. I have to talk to you. I have to think about what I'm gonna say to you. I have to think about my own trade plans. I have to scan the markets. I have to make alerts in the chat room. So there's a bunch of stuff going on all at once. So they are difficult and it's why I don't make them every day but I do wanna make sure that you are continuing to enjoy them. And as long as I know people are continuing to enjoy, then I will continue to, to make them. And like I said, you can communicate that to me by just hitting that like button and leaving a simple comment. Tell me what you traded today. Say hi, give me a, a smiley face emoji, but hitting the like button, quick comment, go a long way and really help me out. So do those things. And again, if you wanna join the community, I'd love to have you there. Claytrader.com forward slash team. Everybody take care, have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.